Hey everybody, I'm JJ, you're watching Reality Survival. And uh, we finally got a new place. So, um, came with chickens already, but um, and somebody had a little chicken coop made up here and <clears throat> got their run right here and a little small coop back here. So that's pretty cool. Um, looks like they all fit in it, you know, pretty good and everything like that. And, um, seems like it's sufficient. I'm going to need to clean it up and eventually I'll probably make a bigger one, but I think for now it'll do okay. But my question to you guys is how old do you think these chickens are? The reason I'm asking is because they're not laying any eggs. I have a feeling that they may have just come out of molt, come out of molt, maybe? I don't know. I think usually that happens later in the year, but some of them, like this one, have got some pin feathers on the head up here. But I'm not really sure. So, any of you guys who are chicken experts, if you know the answer to this, let me know. I'm curious as to how old they are. Shay's curious about them. Shay Poo, you'd be nice. Um, they look like they're in pretty good overall health from what I can tell. But again, I'm not really, I'm not really an expert on chickens. Um, I've, I've increased the amount of food that I'm giving them and the water. So they've got free access to layer pellets at 16% and then plenty of water there. I do want to get some calcium still um, so that they have access to calcium, but there's gravel all around here and all that kind of stuff, um, you know, for them to use in their crawl and everything. So I don't know, but I'm just curious. It's been, we've been here, uh, what, three days now and I don't think we've had any eggs. Let me go look and see if we have any this morning. But uh, just a little curious as to if, you know, could be that they're too young, although they look big to me. Um, and it's possible they're too old, although I don't think that that is the case. Um, again, who knows? Let's see what we got. <laughs> Nope, 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 and nope, no eggs. So, let me know. Is it common um, for chickens in New Hampshire to stop laying in the summer? That could be it too, I think. Uh, last, last week, we had... Um, almost 100 degree temperatures for several days. And so I'm wondering if that potentially kind of put them in on holding mode, <laughs> you know. But this is a kind of a look at the back part of the property. I got the tractor and the four wheeler here. Got a cool little fire circle. Back here for you know, enjoying some evenings. So that's kind of cool. We've got neighbors over there. We've got neighbors over there. Shay, no, no, stay over here. I know you want to go say hi, but stay over here. Let's get in the kennel. Come on, let's kennel up. Um, we got about 10, about 10 neighbors on the street. Shay. Kennel. Come on. Good girl. Come here. Let's kennel up. Kennel up. Come on. That's a good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Shapu. So we're we're out in a very rural area. Uh, we've got about ten neighbors within, I don't know, probably a mile, roughly. 
I'm guessing. I don't really know exactly. I haven't haven't measured it out, but it's it's plenty rural. It's not as rural as we were in Indiana. It's more rural than we were in Wyoming, as far as location goes. And but the the um, road is closer to the front of the house than I would like. But you know, you gotta get gotta take what you can get. You know, <laughs> so got some cleanup to do back here. This is a little wetland area, kind of a, a drainage for the snow and stuff and the water in the spring to run down through here. I've contemplated contemplated potentially digging this out if they'll let me if I can it's very rocky up here um, but I've contemplated maybe trying to dig this out and make it a like a little pond or something like that you know I don't know if I'll be able to because it's pretty rocky this over here is their their little garden that they had. We'll be expanding that, making that a little bigger. Taking out those ties and stuff probably and putting in some raised beds and all that. And then it's we've got a bunch of berries and fruit trees and stuff. Um, there's some apples, if any if any of you guys are familiar with what type of apple this is, let me know in the comments. I would be curious. Um, I ha I'm I'm assuming it's it's possible that it could be like a crab apple because the apples are fairly small. But I don't know, some of them are bigger. So I'm not really sure. We'll have to I'll have to take a bite. No, these look like regular apples. I haven't really given them a close look yet. Yeah, it looks like a looks like a regular apple. It's still just green. Um, has this one got a knee on it? I'm not sure. Anyway, one downside uh, to this place is, is it doesn't have a shop. I've got a three-car garage, but. Um, I'm going to have to build a shop. So I think I've got a place over there back by the chicken coop that we can probably do it. But that's going to take some time, of course. So that's the way it is. Anyhow, I um, don't know what else to say right now. We'll be getting the, getting the garage set up, getting everything unpacked and all that over the next few days. We've already got a pretty good start on it. But... Anyway, yeah, let me know what you think about those apples and the chickens. I'd be curious to see what your answers are. All right, guys, talk to you later. I'll see you on another video shortly.